Hey guys, it's Jay here, and uh, today I'm going to talk about something very near and dear to my heart. One of my all-time favorite pieces of my collection, and that is my complete signed set of 1987-88 Opeechee signed hockey cards. 264 cards in the set, less the two checklists, that's 262 cards that I got autographed. I worked on this set for many years, was able to finish it, which is a very uh, difficult task to do. These were the first cards I collected as a kid. Uh, I spent all my money on them when I was about seven, eight years old. First, my first ever exposure to hockey cards, so I, I love these cards from the get-go. Please, uh, hopefully, enjoy the video. I'm going to kind of tell the story about how the set came together, and uh, also uh, introducing a new intro to the video. So, thanks for watching. Okay, so here we are. Here's the masterpiece itself, the 1987-88 OPG card set. I got this set completely signed, so that's um, 264 cards in the set, less the two checklists, that would be 262 cards. So I'm not going to kind of go over every card, but I'll kind of give you guys a look here. Dennis Poffin here was one of the last cards I got in the set. It, uh, he was working for the Florida Panthers as a uh, broadcaster. It's a nice Rick Tockett rookie, IP. Interesting thing about Randy Carlisle, uh, he signed this card for me early on, and then for many, many years, he would always refuse this card. And then when he was the uh, Leaf coach, he once signed this card. Uh, when he was Anaheim's coach, he once signed this card. And I just saw something recently where he started signing it again at some uh, alumni event in Winnipeg. But uh, very interesting. So glad I got this done early. There's a nice S. Tegan and Rookie. Second page here, some nice stuff. Wendell Clark, you see him all the time. Bill Ranford, rookie card. Mario Lemieux, this was uh, back in the heyday when I was working on the set. I actually mailed this card to his house um, in Pittsburgh. If some of you guys know, uh, there was a period of time where Mario was doing his mail, and he was signing everything in purple and green. So you can see this is done in purple. But uh, those days are long gone. Um James Patrick in person, Matt's Naslin. I mailed this to uh, Europe to get him at the time. Some from Peter Stastny, Hall of Famer, Lanny McDonald, Hall of Famer, Olaf Samuelson, rookie card, Scott Stevens, Hall of Famer, Peter Klima. He played one alumni game in Toronto. I, I got him there, got him on a bunch of stuff. It's Thomas Sandstrom. Interesting. There's some guys. Phil Housley, it's a Hall of Famer. It's the Beezer. Dave Ellett, Patrick Sundstrom, this is a good one to get. Very, uh, haven't seen him in a long time, got him early on. Dave Lewis was a coach for a while. Uh, Poulin was working for the uh, Leafs, I got that at that time. Luke Robitaille actually paid for this one. He, he is a pretty nice guy, but he was doing a, a public signing when I was... Uh, in the thick of the set, so I actually paid uh, to meet him and get that card signed. Dwayne Sutter, as you can see, he signed 08. Uh, I don't know if he still does it, but he uh, he often signs uh, the year he signed the autograph. So I guess that was 2008 when he signed that for me. Um, this page here, Broughton, Keith Brown, Mark Hunter, Don Maloney was working in the NHL. I got that, I believe Arizona, I got him at the Combine. This Gretzky is actually a redo. Um, when I started this set, uh, I actually, the first thing I tried to do was I, I was just working on getting the entire Edmonton Oilers team set done. So there's 15 Oiler cards, and that was my original goal. So uh, I was working on those, and actually the very first Gretzky I ever got was this one right here. And I'll never forget it. I was in front of Maple Leaf Gardens, and a cab pulled up, and he was playing for the Rangers. 
And uh, Charlie Huddy got out of the front seat of the cab, and I went to pursue him for an autograph. And then uh, Huddy, at the time, I believe was assistant coach. Then all of a sudden, I, I see Gretzky get out of the back of the cab. And uh, I swear, I, I almost fainted. Like, I'd never seen him in person uh, up close. And he walked right by me. He opened the door of the gardens. I asked him for an autograph. He, he opened the door with one hand. He turned around, grabbed the marker. I pointed at the card, and he signed it like this. It's a it's an absolute terrible autograph, <laughs> you know, one of the worst. But, you know, it's the first Gretzky I ever got, first Gretzky autograph. I love it. But, you know, in the thick of the set, I ended ended up getting him on the golf course, and I had this card kind of redone. So uh, he, uh, he had his own black on him, but you can see he did a much better job on the redo card right here. You know, you got the 99. It's beautiful. And there's the original, but I'm going to hang on to this forever. It's Mark Howe, another Hall of Famer. Old school Stevie Eiserman, Hall of Famer. Um, Trache, that's a Hall of Famer. This is the junkie signs. He he does a junkie autograph if you ask him in person. He's been doing it for years. Um, he has a much nicer autograph if you go to a signing or anything like that. But for whatever reason, when you, you get him in person, he kind of just scribbles. But that's where that's from. This is one of my uh, favorite players of all time, Russ Cortnell. Uh, loved getting that card. Loved pulling it as a kid. Loved getting it signed. There's uh, oh guys, Wormsley. Cam Neely, Hall of Famer. Uh, McKinnis, Hall of Famer. Peter Zezel, interesting. He he lived in uh, the area where I live. And he used to, you know, I'd see him at a lot of appearances, playing in alumni games and, and whatnot. And uh, I was down to like five cards in the set, Zezel being one of them. And I kind of, I was just held off, held off, held off. I was like, I'll see him eventually. Don't mail it to him. And then I was getting close to the end of the set. I was like, you know what? I'll just mail it. So I mailed it to him. Within a week, I had the card uh, returned, signed back. Then he ended up passing away about a month later. So, you know, it was kind of a, you know, unfortunate thing. Uh, but uh, my timing couldn't have been, you know, better on that one. And then over here, Tom Barrasso paid for this. Very tough autograph at all times. Um, this was at a, a paid signing. He's very tough. I uh, needed to get that done. Goulet, great signer. Hall of Famer. Cicerelli, Hall of Famer. Bernie Fodorko, Hall of Famer. Brad Rickerman, now deceased. So, you know, anytime you work on a set like this, you know, different things that are going to cause you problems are, uh, especially with hockey, is you know the european factors so a lot of these players end up uh you know they're from europe they go back to europe as soon as their careers are done so you have a, a hard time locating them so um the way this set worked was i um decided i was going to work on the set and i i kind of looked through all my stuff and all the cards i already had signed and i already had 150 of these cards signed when i decided to actually make an official run at it so basically um I, I had just 112 to go. So I was, you know, going to alumni games and chasing these guys down and doing a lot of TTMs. Uh, but anytime you do something like this, you know, you there's the European factor, players that passed away. He passed away after I got the card. And then, uh, you know, other things as well. Nice Paul Coffey, Clark Gillies. Last card I got in the set, to finish the set, if you're wondering, was Willie Hoover. Um... Bought this card at the Sports Card Expo. I, I could not believe I found it. And I found it pretty quickly. Like, it was on my wish list. I couldn't locate this guy in the mail. And I found a dealer at the show uh, selling the cards. It was the last card to finish it out. One of my favorite players, Brian Bellows. Eddie Olchuk, second year. Chris Chelios, Hall of Famer. Langway, Hall of Famer. Mike Bossy. Signed this on the red carpet of the NHL Awards. Junkie autograph on it. That's not really his... His good signature, it's like an MB he was doing, you know, at the time. Uh, Ron Duguay, Ray Ferraro, some good ones here. There's the Messier card. Um, Dennis Maruk, he lives in town. I see him all the time. Middleton, I see every couple of years. Dave Taylor, Kelly Rudy. There's the Adam Oates rookie card, nicely signed there. Joey Mullen, that's a Hall of Famer. Dennis Savard, Hall of Famer. Brad Marsh, I got this on alumni game. I'm Marcel Dion, I got it at uh, an event with a real estate agent. John O'Gronick, I was I was gunning hard for this one. 
and I got him at Rico Coliseum. He was playing for the uh, Detroit Red Wings alumni. It's in person. I remember going after that one. Pat Flatley, one of the last cards I needed. I could not find this guy. Uh, I was writing letters all over North America. Like I had all these leads on addresses. Could not locate him. Believe it or not, I was at a, uh, a rink in Toronto, uh, like just a, a regular rink watching a friend's hockey game. And I see uh, Pat Flatley in the lobby and I almost fainted. I could not believe it. I, I ran to my car, I ran home. I grabbed the card, got back to the rink in time. He was still standing there, signed the card for me. Like just a huge stroke of luck. Some other guys, Padubny's now deceased. Brian Lawton was working for Tampa. Dale Howardchuk, Hall of Famer. Yari Curry, Hall of Famer. Jay Wells, I got uh, at an event. Michael Utes, now an agent. I got him at the Combine. Cunningworth, I remember he was an assistant coach with somebody. Vive, I see all the time. Murray uh, with Anaheim. Muller all the time. Brian Propp was a great guy when he was the uh, Flyers broadcaster. Patrick Wye paid for, um, didn't, you know, was not the uh, easiest to get to at one point, so I paid for this in a signing. Sean Burr, I got him at the same uh, alumni game that I got O'Grotnick in, now deceased. Mike Gardner, we see all the time, Hall of Famer. There's a nice Ron Hextall rookie card. Pat LaFontaine. Dougie Gilmore with the Blues. It's Grant Fuhrer. Will Paymont. I don't think he was wearing 99 then. Now, these cards are great looking. You know, just seeing the set. I love them. Love them. Love them. Still to this day. Stevie Thomas is Ron Francis. Nice one. Greg Steffen, I believe, was the goaltending coach for the Hurricanes. And I got that done. So the fun thing with this is it's it's sort of the journey. You know, putting something together like this is is a process that takes years, but it's it's a lot of fun. As a collector, I I love uh, projects like this and uh, they're very hard to do you know like when you're coming across something like this there's a checklist there you know Doug Wickenheiser had bought that one he he's been long deceased uh, but when you're coming across a project like this there's always you know things in the way things that are gonna you know make it impossible the fact that I was able to finish this is a, a, a massive feat there's a McSorley rookie Craig Muni actually um uh, I wrote him a letter. This is actually, I wrote an article in a, a magazine, a, a Canadian sports collector magazine from February 2007. I actually wrote an article in the magazine. Uh, you can see here, and I was talking about this set and what I was doing. I actually mailed this card to Muni. He said, I do not sign this card. This is what he sent back to me. Posted note. And I ran into him a few years later, and actually, uh, he was signing it no problem. So... You know, any of these obstacles, you never give up. There's always a way. It's the old Calgary guys. Mike Vernon, rookie, like that. Some of these thicker Sharpie ones I bought, they're kind of fillers, and I've tried to redo them when I can. Kind of like the Gretzky card. It's a nice Claude Lemieux rookie card. Jim Kite, I remember writing to, I believe he works in Ottawa at a university. It's a Bob Gainey. Stefan Riche, rookie. My old Leafs. I love that Bester card. There's Boy Salming. My favorite ally, Frady card of all time. Don Foos, rookie. Ken Reggett, rookie. These are my guys when I was a kid. Love this team. Rick Lands was a uh, scout for the Avalanche. I got him when he was uh, at the uh, NHL Combine. Signed it for me there. Old Dale Hunter. Yeah, love these cards. To me, the most beautiful set ever created. Randy Moeller, we see all the time. He works for the Florida Panthers. Yep, no cards come close to this. For me, it's absolutely stunning. It's beautiful. And there you have it. Michelle Petit, Brent Peterson. He has, uh, I believe it's MS now. That's an old school signature. Used to see him, I believe, when Nashville came to town. So there you have it. Hopefully you uh, you appreciate this set as much as I do. Start to finish complete. I love it. Uh, please uh, don't forget to leave me comments and uh, let me know if you, uh, you enjoyed the video or, or send me likes. And uh, I'll continue to uh, 
add more content. Thanks very much for watching.